All right, so this video is for, I can't remember the name, I apologize, but they wanted to know, can you record in through the USB? And the answer is yes. The ticket is though, you have to have enough power. And on iPhone or iDevices, I should say, you have to have the camera kit, at, at least on the older devices. If you're using a lightning or if you're gonna use your phone for sure, you need to have the camera kit. Um, I think the new ones, I think you have to still have your uh, camera kit for them. I can't remember though. Don't quote me on that one. But you definitely can record out and into the to the um, SP. It is an interface. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna move the camera just so you can see. You can obviously see that, but you need to see this tablet. Let me see if I can get it closer. Without bobbling it. So you'll see if you look right here. This is AUM. It's basically a mixer and this light is terrible. So give me one second while I turn this light off so you can see it better. Hopefully, yeah, that's a little bit better. All right. I don't have a lot of space here, so I'm trying to squeeze this in, but um, yeah, so you see this here? So if you touch that and you go to hardware out, you'll see SP404MK. You can't see that, hold on a second. Try not to zoom out too far because I want you to be able to see it. So give me one second so I can make this a little bit better. Maybe I can, there we go. That's a little better. Try not to make the camera fall. This thing is still broke. I can't believe I haven't fixed this. Anyway, so you have, still, it's just falling. I might just hold it. Give me a second, sorry about that. All right, I don't want this thing to fall. Oh, it just literally fell off. Edge. Okay, you're about done. I'm gonna have to get a new one. So bear with me one second while I put this down because this thing just fell. Okay, so you'll see right here that you have different outs and ends. So the USB one is gonna be uh, the bottom one, if I recall right. So let me put an instrument in here real quick. Let's see, let's just get something that we can touch on screen so I don't have to do a bunch of extra. Okay. You gotta make sure on here that the external is on. You see it's lit up now. That means there's some, whatever is externally can come in. And set this for, I believe it's the three, four. There it is. So that sound is going into here through the USB. Pretty, pretty simple. You wanna record something. I, I know people use resample, but I'm just gonna use record. For me, that's easier. And here's why, because it does the weight for you. So, and hit it. And the reason why I do the weight too is I don't have to set the start point. If I do the weight, I don't have to set start. It automatically puts it right where I need it. And then all I have to do is adjust the end. And I'll tell people this, anybody I ever see that's interested, play through the phrase and play the next note. So in other words, if you got four bars, play the start of the fifth bar, right? That way you have an ending point, you know where to cut the end off. And by the way, I do that in Koala too. So it works the same. So if you got an end point, you need to know, play to the next note, and then you have, you'll know where to start the, the uh, next portion. So there you have it. I wasted a lot of your time. Sorry, I could have probably made this quicker, but it is what it is. It does allow you to play. Um, and there you go. Just change it to USB. If you, I'm just using an iPad. Change it to USB out three plus four and you should be good. All right. Hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, ask any questions. I'll always try to do quick videos. I don't mind. All right. Peace.